start by uh, GPM. Yep. Uh, do you know if this is the very first match? Yeah, this is the first match. Okay. So first of five people on each crew. Okay. Damn, a very dominating performance. Yeah, by UBC, they're doing very well right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they're off to a four-star lead after this one. Yeah. I mean, if one miss, if he misses one rest, uh, it's to take one stock, Definitely. easy. And I mean, any forward smash will probably kill at this percent. That's true, but Kipper is not in play. It's not guaranteed anymore. It's true. Uh, unlucky. Yeah. All right, let's see who BCIT throws in. What up? Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. So, I wonder who they're going to send in now. Yeah, I wonder who they're going to send in. I mean, oh, okay. I've played against this Fox player before. He's quite technical. I feel like he'd be a good pick against a Puff. Have you seen him play Puff before? Um, only the last match that he played. Okay. Well, we should be in for a good match. Yeah, hopefully. Let's see, he's going to have to put in work to come back from the deficit that they're in right now, though. Definitely. And against Puff, that can be hard. Just oh, one yeah. up throw rest and there goes the stock. Yeah. Depending it's on stage. pretty risky throwing in a Fox, actually. Yeah. But I mean, Fox-Puff is your classic matchup, you know. Fox probably the best choice against a, a Puff if the Fox is better. Definitely. But if they flub, it's... Stocks are gonna go. It's true. Very volatile match. Yeah. Maybe if uh, they lose one or two stocks, they might still be in. But yeah, still definitely. be hard. And I mean, I'm not too sure who else is on the BCI2 IT crew. So maybe they have a, a very nice anchor or something like that. Hopefully. UBC has a pretty stacked team though, so it's gonna be a rough ride. Um, do you know Unruly? I'm pretty sure Unruly might be their anchor. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. In that case, maybe they do have a chance. They probably do. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing set in stone yet, anyways. Exactly. For all we know, Gomer's going to roll up and take 20 stocks. Yeah, that Could is possible. Happen. Yeah. I like the stage pick. Yeah, definitely. It's classic. Either this one or FD. Even Yoshi's all would have been good, I think, but... Yeah, exactly. As a Puff player, this is probably one of the stages I hit the most. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Very close to an SD right off the bat. Yeah. That was a close call. Yeah, just some footsies going on. Yep. Feeling each other out. I mean, I feel like that's how most of the, the cruise matches are going to start. Yeah, exactly. It's only best of one, of course, so... One stock is huge, so... Yeah, exactly. Every stock counts a lot. Yeah. They're definitely going to play a bit more careful probably see a lot more spaghetti than usual as well. Exactly, the nerves. Yeah, with crew battles, nerves are always in play. Seem to be doing a pretty good job right now, though. Yeah, definitely. Quite even so far. Just getting some stray hits on both players. Ooh, oh, nice fucking, uh, nice wow, match grab. a ton. Wow. In crews, you're always going to have people BMing. It's true. That mental edge, you know? Exactly. Throw your opponent off with a nice taunt or something. Right. Ooh, the rock transformation. Kind of wish the fox lasered more. Force the puff to approach. Yeah. On this transformation, it's not very it possible, but I definitely agree. On the neutral stage, he should... Some lasers might definitely help him out. Nice dash dance there, though. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. wow. Oh. Unfortunate SD. The nerves might be getting to them now. Yeah, maybe. And against Puff, it's very bad if you let your nerves get oh. to you. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Oh, oh never wow. mind. He makes it back. Now, one up, like, Puff is definitely in kill percent. I think up throw up air will even still connect. It's hard, but it oh, might. Yeah. Uh, it's now I think he's about out of percent. He is, for sure. 
Might have to go for some up tilts, yeah, down tilts. an up tilt or an up smash or something. Up smash is really risky though. It's true. Yeah. Rest out of shield is always an option as well. So. Exactly. This puff seems like he can rest out of shield pretty well. Yeah, GPM definitely quite a good puff. Oh, a nice side B though. Okay, first stock okay. down for UBC. Oh, just needs a couple more up throw up airs and Puff should be dead. Actually, I think at this percent, one up smash is good enough. Yeah, maybe. Damn, another SD, unfortunately. Oh, man. That's definitely going to kill BCI, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're really going to have to get rid of these last two Puff stocks, or else they're really in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, two person advantages. They might have to send that. Unruly in. Yeah. Depends. If he can take another stock. No. Oh, oh. Off the wall, so he gets saved. Wow. Oh, oh. but he can't punish. Yeah. Nice shine out of shield. Dash dancing just doesn't seem to be working very well anymore. Yeah. That's I think GPM's got a read on him. Should try forcing GPM to approach. Bit more lasers. Yeah, definitely. I've not seen very many lasers at all this set, actually. Yeah, they're usually really good on puffs, so. Definitely. That's like a staple of the matchup. And a uh, pretty solid two stock by GPM. Wow, he's putting in some work. Yeah, definitely. So a six stock advantage right now for UBC. It's pretty much all but over, it's unless the next I mean, player can make the yeah, comeback. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if one of BCIT's players can take these two and maybe two of the next persons... It actually, is doable. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely still in the range of possibility, but... I see they're saving on Ruli. I don't recognize this player. Um, I think this is a Falco player. Falco? Falco Puff. Yeah, very interesting. Does Unruly is a Fox player, is he? Unruly is Fox Peach. Fox Peach. So that's how I was thinking, maybe... Yeah, Fox. Maybe they don't want to risk uh, some rest possibilities, though. Yeah, that is also true. But I mean, Falco is a very risky choice. I mean, they are in a pretty dire situation right now. I assume they're doing hand, hand warmers? Yeah. That would be very interesting if they did choose FD. I mean, I, I would assume that the Yoshi's pick would have come from Falco. Falco Itis can be pretty hard to deal with against Puff. Okay, so it is an FD pick. I guess he just wants to just try to keep it down to some lasers. Yeah. Maybe lasers, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. He must be really confident in his laser game then. Yeah. Lasers and up tilts are going to be very big. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. I thought the rest was going to come out already. I don't think... Okay, that's, that's going to be a stock. Uh, wow. That can't happen. One more of those happens, uh, I think it might be too big to come Yeah. That's quite a big deficit already. Yeah, this deficit is huge. Oh, wow. Oh. I thought that was going to be a rest. Oh, oh, what a flub. Almost. I don't know if Falco had any moves that would have killed at that percent. Though. Tipper forward smash, I'm pretty sure would have. Ah, yeah, you might be right. Or the vertical hitbox uh, right at the beginning of it. Yeah. I think he had some options because that percent seems a bit too high. That was a very open. nice short. I don't think he would have made it out. Yeah. All right. That's a good read. Nice downer. He, can, he needs to take this stock without dying. Yeah. That's going to be very crucial. Yeah. But it's going to be very hard. Already at 112. Yeah. And Puff is a very hard character to keep locked down with lasers like you see. Exactly. You got to right. mix up low lasers and high lasers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it seems like he's only doing some low lasers and Puff is just going right above him. Yeah. All right. Oh, up throw. Wow, I didn't think he was going to get anything off of that. I didn't either. 
That's a decent conversion. All right. A grab from Falcon might lead to death, but... Oh. Oh, okay. Good. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Not going for rests. I'm surprised. Yeah, very Maybe surprised. he thinks he can still edge it out. Yeah, maybe he wants to go for the full greedy two stocks. I mean... Yeah, because if he can take this stock without dying, then up the very rest possible. is on the table for yeah. the next stock. And it is possible. The way he's been playing, it's... And the good thing about Cruz is that it doesn't matter what percent you end the game with, you always restart. You always go back to zero for the next one. Exactly. Oh, oh wow. I guess that a nice downer to finish it off. Still a good showing by... Right. Yeah, boy named Crow. Yeah. Two stocks. Took two, died twice. Not too bad overall, but they definitely do need some positive trades if they want to climb back. Yeah, exactly. So UBC, I've never seen this player actually, so. Same. Let's see who they play. Marth a player. Marth player. Okay. Oh. Oh, this yeah, might Falco, be a bit hard for Falco. Yeah, Falco Marth is a very unforgiving matchup <laughs> yeah. when Falco's in. One flub and that's just your yeah, stock. Exactly. <laughs> So we have 16 stocks to 10, I believe. I think I think they're down to eight now. Are they down Are they to? Not? I think it's 10. I think they have, yeah, 10. I'm pretty sure. No, it can't be 10 because it's just increments of four. Yeah, and then new the belt goes on too. Oh, you're right. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So 10 stocks to 16. I mean, it's definitely not un undoable. Yeah, it is possible, and they still have their their anchor and unruly. It's true, yeah. Unruly, unruly, I'd say can probably take six stocks even. So if they can keep it at the deficit they're at now, they may have a chance. But I mean, I'm sure UBC's anchor is very strong as well. So exactly, I'd be surprised if they let unruly pop off. UBC has a very nice lineup going into this crew battle, so. It's gonna be very hard. It's too bad uh, Shinsuke can come. Yeah, yeah. They didn't even have a, a couple of their top players as well. So. Yeah, and they're still such a strong team. Yeah, I'd say they probably has the. Yeah. No bias. No bias. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I know. I was so. I actually got here with Doc. Good showing, dude. All that right, was, what's up? That was some crazy, some crazy play I saw from you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, I hope I didn't bore this stream. I know I'm sure they wanted me to lose game ones to see less puff, but uh, you know. No, I no, your puff this. was sick, dude. Thank I gotta you. say, it wasn't boring to watch. <laughs> First game, I really tried going for the uh, rest. But anyways, let's uh, let's, let's focus on the match here, of course. Yeah. yeah. So right now, I guess we sent in Brendan. Uh, in my opinion. Nobody else agrees with me, but I think Brennan's the best player at UBC. Really, really solid better choice. than Shinsuke. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Of the players who are here. Oh, oh. Shinsuke's better. Shiloh's better. Or Zylo's better. But, okay. Uh, like between between him and Luca, definitely two best players here. Um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can see why we sent him in. Like, yeah, really this did. is crazy, man. Yeah. They might have to send Unruly in next. Like. I don't think they can take this. I definitely think that. Um, I don't really know one really. People speak highly of him. But honestly, like my thought was with Brendan and 10 stocks left, like if I can take 10 stocks, Brendan can certainly take the other the other 10. Uh, uh, and really is like pretty much a PR player. So that might oh, be. Oh, okay. It, I'm excited to see this one. Yeah. That so should th it should be pretty even if Brendan is as good as you say he is. Because I've never seen him play <laughs> yeah. against anyone. Well, yeah, so here we can really see. Um, uh, B BNC is trying to keep his distance, I guess, uh, with those lasers, because he knows as soon as uh, Brendan touches him, he's in a bit of trouble. Yeah. I think he's playing the matchup actually pretty well. Like, he, uh, yeah, just running away, keeping his distance. But unfortunately, eventually, you're going to get grabbed. But On FD, that's, there's not much you can do. Yeah, um, though Brennan has been dropping stuff, it seems. So, you know, he's, he's still got a chance to take one stock. Yeah, hopefully, he can take at least one. I honestly think like taking one stock of mine and one stock of Brendan's is uh, or two stocks of mine and one of Brendan's would be really good. Uh, but oh, that's a downer. Oh yeah. wow. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, good stuff to Brendan and good stuff to uh, PNC. Uh, you know. Oh, they're saying you're Dorshi. 
Dorshi being a Sheik player. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is GPM. What's up, Neely, today? I don't know who you are, but, uh, yeah. Wow, yeah, you must, uh, G I, my, my dog's GPM now, but back in the day, like, a decade ago, it was GPM when I went to my first tournament in 2008 yeah. or nine. Oh, wow, you've been playing a while, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's why I'm so bad. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> I'm still using those 2008 strategies. Oh, wow, sorry. Oh, uh, is that QF? So you've been playing Puff since 2008? No, no, no. I started playing Puff in 2015 because I got tendonitis. Uh, oh, wow. I, I started with Marth because I was a big fan of Ken. Every day I would come home from high school and watch like uh, three hours of Ken videos. Right. Uh, I played some Falcon, some Ganondorf. When I came back to the scene after the documentary, uh, I went to... Um, oh, oh, we're, we're starting this. No SDs. Oh, no. Uh, that's a hand warmer. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I, I like switched to Falco, and I played some Fox, and then Fox is what made me eventually have to switch to Puff. So I've played like about 10 characters over my uh, over my Smash career, I guess. Oh, wow. But uh, yeah, now I just stick with Puff, especially for the crew battle. Like, It's good to have character diversity. Exactly. Um, and your, I definitely your, puff, your Puff is definitely really sick. So. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely try to I, I try to play sick a lot, but I toned it down for this as well because you can't go for like off. Normally in friendlies, I'll go for off stage rest or even in a tournament, right? Because um, like if it means I'll win by like two stocks instead of three, it doesn't matter. But in crews, exactly. you can't take risks like that. Yeah, the stocks make a huge difference. Yeah. So I was a bit nervous. Like I was sort of wondering whether it'd be better for me to go early on because if I go early on, um, like Puff prioritizes stock trading a lot of the time. Yeah. So it was a question of like, well, do I focus on, I just want to win game one, so we're ahead in the counter picks. Or if I play later on, I can gauge, oh, we have four stocks and they have eight, so I can't stock trade. Or, oh, we have eight stocks and they have four, so I can stock trade all I want. Um, it's It was like a different, difficult balance for me to strike, but I ended up not really getting many opportunities to rest, so it didn't really matter in the long run. Right, right. I was just wondering, that last game, you didn't rest. The Falco, when you when you had two stocks, were you thinking you could take the game? Uh, yes, yeah. Ah. That, that's always my that's always my goal. Um, I know I'm capable of it. I, I know I have a good combo game without rest. So, but right. Anyways, Anyways. Uh, yeah, we've got Dreamline. Really a uh, decent counter pick in my opinion. Like Sheik Marth on this stage, not good. Yeah, exactly. Like Marthitis can definitely be hard. Absolutely. Like I had Tendonitis, but Marthitis is even tougher. <laughs> I gotta say. Um, another uh, strange thing about this stage, I don't know how widely known it is, but um, occasionally when Marth throws out a move at the same frame that Wispy blinks, uh, his sword actually won't come out. He'll just move his arm and no hitbox. Really? So, yeah. The, the degree to that. which this is a counter pick from against Marth is actually uh, pretty staggering. Huh. Well, looks like. How do you pronounce his name? Uh, Dipper. Dip. Or Dorshi. Or Dipper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. He's named after the uh, Gravity Falls character. Oh, nice. okay. And wow. Wow, yeah, solid string from uh, Dorshi evening up the stocks. Dorshi he, putting in some work, definitely. Yeah, and if he can clean up this, um, if he can beat Brandon, I mean, it's doable. Unruly yeah. might be able to do it. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, if Unruly takes like uh, 12 stocks, then. Uh, it is possible. Then he is a very good player. Them. Oh, nice string. Wow. That was incredible. That was that was not the DI door she needed there. But yeah, so far it's just been a bloodbath. Like one of them just lands a hit and they'll just convert so much off of it. Yeah, this is quite the brawl going on. <laughs> and I feel like this is gonna be death. Dorshi's Oh oh grab, yeah. Down throw? Yeah, okay. I might have elected to go for forward throw and then Oh, never mind. You know oh. what? There's a reason I'm not still up there. <laughs> I mean, you took 10 stocks. <laughs> whatever, whatever. That's in the past. That's in the past. <laughs> this match is going to be crucial. If Dorshi can win this, I can see BCIT still making the comeback. Mm. As unlikely as it is, if Dorshi can't win this, I'd say it's all but over. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe anyone is would would be uh, would be able to. Well, I mean, yeah, if it would be Ice dumb. Climbers main might be able to do oh. it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, that's true. That's definitely true. But anyways, let's let's not talk about ice climbers. Let's not <laughs> yeah. ruin our fun right now. Yeah, they're just scrapping. Yeah, definitely uh, suffering from the marthritis that you mentioned. Like 169 is not a percentage that uh, that you want your opponent to be living to. Exactly. He's gonna have to go for those reads now with uh, 
up tilt and forward smash. He's going for a lot of shield breakers. I don't know exactly what the uh, what the idea is there, but oh wow, wow! I think oh that didn't. Kill. I think I think um, Dipper didn't realize that he still had a double jump, so he kind of double jumped too high and then upbeat over the stage and got punished. Okay. Anyways, clears up that stock. And uh, I don't know. I I feel like things might be looking a bit grim for uh, BCIT right yeah. now. Not looking 14 good. Six. Yeah, not a good look. Especially considering. Um, uh, oh, oh wow. wow! All right. Oh, this might be all but over now. Yeah, I think uh, like two stocks off of Brendan, uh, and then he's gonna get counter picked three times. Three? Yeah. It yeah, seems great. What a large number. I can't even to count take that. Fourteen stocks. This oh. might be difficult. Okay, Unruly was talking that ish to me actually uh, while I was while I was playing I in a friendly way. Uh, I see. I bear no ill will towards him. He seems like an amicable fellow. Yeah. Um, one thing I will say is, uh, are you familiar with Derek? Derek, yes. Yeah. Um, our uh, one guy on our team, Luke, uh, Luca, who a lot of a lot of people say is the best player on our team. He actually double eliminated uh, Derek last week from a tournament. So this might uh, be difficult. <laughs> this, this is tough. Um, oh, one thing is he did say that he went uh, Falco against Derek, and today he's going Fox. Um, I don't think that oh. should really like count against him, though. I think Fox is a better matchup. So definitely, for sure, it can be difficult for Peach. Yeah, but I'll definitely. Uh, I'm definitely interested. I'm. I'm definitely gonna look for some like impressive stuff from uh, Unruly. Yeah, for sure. He. I'm pretty sure he'll be able to clean up these two stocks, but. We'll see how yeah. many stocks he has left over. I'll give him that much credit from what I've heard of him. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure he can take the two stocks. Yeah. Maybe he might be able to take the two without losing one, though, if it's mm. Dreamland. Like, it can be hard to kill Peach here. Very true, very true. Um, it's also... I think even if um if BCIT is almost out of the picture, I, I think it's still I think it's still good fun really to see like how, how far he can go, you know? Yeah. If he can also take ten stocks, it's good to hit that double digit. Let me tell you. Yeah, pretty overzealous in there from uh from Dipper getting punished. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, um, Unruly definitely showing a lot more patience. Like, uh, Dipper just running in a lot, and uh, Unruly content to wait and look for those openings. Yeah. And yeah, really getting the better of... Uh, it's doing really well right now. Yeah, and this is about the percentage uh, Brendan really has to start thinking about. Yeah, that should be a stock. I really don't. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Well done. Great conversion. Well done. So Brennan should definitely be looking at uh, looking at getting some like down air kill here. Uh, that's really the wow. only way you're gonna get a kill below like 100% at this point. I see. Yeah, Marthritis is definitely a big issue here. Besides that, he would have to just prioritize like. Uh, oh! Oh! Back, wow! Oh. oh! She did. She used her, uh, or she didn't use her jump. Uh, that actually tricked me. That tricked me as well. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, oh, man. I don't like how much. Um, oh, 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 oh okay, good. Brendan. All right, yeah, this is looking tough That's, now. This yeah, is looking tough for sure. I'm really, yeah, yeah. I'll probably be able to clean up this one stock with his three, but absolutely. But uh, then he's looking at uh, four stocking one person and three stocking two others. So That's very difficult. <laughs> yeah, Brendan definitely doing a lot more swinging than I'd like in this matchup. Uh, a big part of he, Peach he is just, his... you know, waiting right outside of range, t being really taunting you know like uh yeah. making making you think oh man i can just throw it a forward smash and land it and uh he landed very few so but anyways good stuff to brendan taking uh taking seven stocks, stocks take? yeah I believe. you took he quite took a few two, yeah, you two put in quite a bit of work i know i know uh and yeah so oh and we're putting in luca as i expected oh wow uh, i think we just want to wrap it up right now um and also i think without with how highly um people have been talking up uh Unruly. Unruly and uh, might be the best choice before yeah. you get some steam momentum going. Well, and I also think it'll be good just because um, I think there will be a question of like if people say, "Oh, this is our best player on this university. This is the best player of this university." Having them play like three stocks to four stocks, like um, we're going to see a more drawn out battle. We uh, we'll get a better idea of who's actually the better player. Whereas if maybe if we save Luca to the end, and he has to take one stock. The match could be over in a couple yeah. seconds, and it's like, well, we don't really have anything to go off of from it. But I think this way we should be able to have a real have a real show. Hey. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Well, Sorry, in what university are you with? 
SFU. SFU. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing you guys. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be a good battle. <laughs> yeah, hard fought. Yeah, I definitely think that should be the highlight of the evening. SFU versus CBC. Yeah. yeah. I'm really, I'm so thankful um, RK is not on your team. He is. I saw him. I, I waved. He He's here. He's here? Yeah. He, is he part, he's not part of the team though, is he? He is. Dane's here. He's part Dane's of the team. part of the team. Yeah, so Ooh. that might be hard right. on you Yeah, guys. that's super scary. That's, yeah. yeah. I think, um, otherwise, I think, yeah. I think I might have subbed in for him, but okay. Okay. now okay. Dane's here. Uh, yeah, I, I, I favor SFU then. I favor SFU. For sure, especially because you guys don't have your top couple players, right? That, no, probably that our top like, four players aren't here. Yeah, that, that definitely sways in our favor, like, for sure. Potentially Derek, uh, Derek Shinsuke, uh, Zylo, and um, I don't know, even the Nick, maybe. Yeah, it yeah. might be a hard matchup for sure. Because <laughs> usually tough. we do go even when yeah. all of our top players on both sides are going at it. All right. Well, now we got. Now we have our two top, or not ours, but you know, UBC and BCIT's top two players going at it. Yep. Schmug starting off pretty strong. Yeah, it does not look good for Unruly. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> Great recovery. Yeah, very tricky. I definitely like um sort of giving. Oh wow. wow. Well done. I like the um using uh, platforms as sort of a mix-up. Like your opponent never knows if you're going to land on them or drop through. Wow, nice use of the pan. Uh, wow. None of the other forward smashes would have really like led to anything. So I don't know if he actually knows. Uh, I know you like cycle through them, but I don't know if you always start with a pan or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know. I do not play Peach. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen Unruly like, wait for the tech rather than he sort of went for a preemptive nair on that platform and didn't get anything for it. Um, yeah. And at this point, uh, I'm just gonna call it this. Like it's it's over. Twelve yeah. stocks and uh, like yeah. To two and eighty-seven percent. It's, it's 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 a tough fight. Yeah. But let's see let's see how much of a fight Unruly can put up. Let's see if he can. Uh, he just took two stocks, right? So let's see if he can if he can take four stocks. Let's see if he can hit par. Luca trying to do some cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> not oh not quite. Oh wow. He might even die for that. I thought he was actually. Okay. Oh my oh, gosh. Man. The worst infinite of all time. I guess they're just content. <laughs> I want the record to show when I thought there were bans, I banned this stage because because uh, I didn't want I didn't want us to be waiting on either sides of the stage from the transformation. Right. Yeah, that <laughs> can be annoying. Oh. Oh. Man. All right. Yeah. Good shine up. Aww. Yeah, and the taunt. The taunt. I approve. In a crew battle, absolutely. Oh, wow. even though. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can and the taunt back. Taunt. I respect that too. I respect that too. If you do it right after a taunt, how can you not do it right after getting taunted? Exactly. Oh, oh that could that, that might be, be it? it? Yeah. I don't. Uh, oh yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's a timing mix-up. It's a timing mix-up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And that stage spike is nasty. Because that initial hit of um, up B just has so much like set knockback. It can just... Um... Oh, man. That might be it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, taking four stocks against uh, pro uh, almost certainly our two best players. Um, so, you know, I think I really doesn't have too much to be like upset over. Um, like I said, I don't think it was feasible for him to take 